are you ready for another London trip and more theatre in this week's vlog? Because I know I am. Hi everyone, my name is Chloe, welcome back to my channel, thank you for being here today. Today's video is the start of a new weekly reading vlog where, once again, I'll be going on a weekend trip to London. This is going to be three weeks in a row now. This is this is week this is week two of three weeks of London trips. So if you get bored of my uh, content where I just go to the theatre and don't actually read that much, this may not be the video for you. But yes, it is now Monday. I am currently watching Wimbledon and getting very upset that I'm not in the queue trying to get tickets. Upset that I didn't queue this weekend because I really have thought about it. I could have queued on Saturday and booked today off work and gone to see Andy Murray on Centre Court and it upsets me that I didn't do that. I love Wimbledon, for anyone who doesn't know, I'm a massive tennis fan and I've been to Wimbledon three times now and all through like queuing overnight and camping and Andy Murray is my favourite player and I have seen him play luckily, I see, saw him at the O2, the ATP Tour Finals um, back in whatever year it was, 20... 18 I think it was the year that he was world number one and I've also have seen him at Wimbledon when he was playing doubles with Serena Williams in 2019 so I have seen him play but I would love to see him on centre court at Wimbledon anyway he's winning at the minute which I'm very happy about it is very early it's very early in the in the match though so we'll see what happens i'm on sprints tonight and i'm going to be distracted by this all the way through which is not great because i need to read so it's the end of marvel fun for last week well, actually it finishes on thursday and i need to finish reading history is all you left me i need to finish the audiobook of city of dragons i also need to read what else do i need to read one of the wayward children books because that's on tbr match tbr if i don't finish it i have to add a punishment next month which if you see my tbr you know i do not want to add a punishment next month and then i also would like to read a graphic novel potentially three graphic novels so we're gonna see how this goes but basically yeah that is a plan for the week and that's that's all what I need to get done before Thursday. Well, before Wednesday, really, because Thursday I'm travelling to London because I'm going to see Beauty and the Beast on Thursday night and then I'm going to see Ed Sheeran on Friday night and then I'm going to see Moulin Rouge on Saturday afternoon. And I'm so excited for all of these things, but also I'm very, very tired already and it's Monday. So, I'm going to go and get ready for sprints with... We've got we've got myself, Gem and Becca, the, some of the Marvel Con captains, but we also have some fun guests tonight. We have Tori and we have Kendra and I have never actually spoken to them like on a camera type thing I've only ever spoken to them in comments or in messages so I'm excited to actually have a chat with them and yeah and also important news I made a glass of Pims because we're molding so why the hell not right I'm actually gonna go because I am looking a mess at the minute and I might fix this a little bit before I go on sprints can someone please explain to me how it is already Wednesday night hi really quiet update because people are asleep but I forgot to update yesterday so I didn't want to not film something today. It's Wednesday evening, it's like 10 to midnight and I've finished work for the week which is great. I'm only in three days this week because tomorrow I go to London yet again. Tomorrow evening I'll be going to see Beauty and the Beast and then I have a concert on Friday and then more theatre on Saturday but we'll get into that tomorrow. Since I last spoke to you, I finished three books. I finished reading History is All You Left Me. I gave it five stars again. Of course, it's one of my favourites. Like, even though I read it and like, there's definitely ways my reading taste has changed since I first read it. I'm still just loving it for like the nostalgia and it still breaks me a little bit. So yeah, five star read. It was great. I finished reading City of Dragons. I gave it one four stars. Probably my favourite of the Rainwild Chronicles so far, but still just a pacing issue. It still felt like it was building to not much happening. But we'll see where the last book goes. I did really enjoy that some of the live strip trader characters were in more this time, which was fun because it's nice to see where they're at. And then I read In an Absent Dream by Sean Maguire, which is the fourth book in the We Were Children series. And I get that one five stars as my favourite one so far. I really liked the character that it focused on and the world that they went to this time was really interesting to me but I don't know why I just found it really intriguing so yeah that is pretty much all I'm gonna say for now because I'm aware that I'm like whispering you might not even be able to hear me so 
I will film an actual clip in the morning when I talk more about my weekend plans and the other two books that I'm hoping to read before the end of Marvel of One, which is midnight tomorrow night. Being ambitious. Hello, it is now Thursday morning. I'm about to start getting ready to go to the train station to go to London. Train's at 11, it's now currently 8 o'clock, so I have like two hours until I need to leave. But I've been up for a few hours already and I've already read a book. It's the last day of Marvel of them, so I'm trying to get in my last minute reads. I am hoping to finish the audiobook of Blood of Dragons today, because I don't know if I mentioned yesterday, but I started the last book in the Rain Wild Chronicles and decided to try and do it in two days. I'm not sure if it'll happen. Lisa has said that if you, within reason, if you've started something by the end of the month and haven't finished it, you finish it by Sunday when the tracker closes, you can still count it. So I'm going to be fairly far into it. So even if I've got like, like an hour left of the audiobook, I can still count it. I would just like to finish it today for my own like peace of mind. But I have read something this morning. I read Scarlet Witch Complete Collection, which is one of the graphic novels I got out of the library. And then, and I've literally just finished it like two minutes ago. I'm giving it one four stars. I enjoyed the storyline of it. It's basically about Wanda trying to heal magic and in along the way kind of trying to reconcile with her own past because this is a more recent comic book and it's where they've sort of changed some of her backstory as well. And it's kind of putting all that together and I really enjoyed the storyline of it. My issue was that it was done by lots of different writers and different artists and it was very jarring because the styles could change so dramatically from issue to issue and I'm sure it was fine if you were reading the individual issues as they came out but reading it in a bind up I was just like okay I don't quite know where I am because the styles are so different but yeah it was the actual storyline was really good so that's why it was four it's probably more like 3.5 but anyway, more points for Team Scholar Witch. I'm going to go and log those now before I forget. And then I'm going to listen to the audiobook of Blood of Dragons while I get ready to go. I've just got back. I've been to see Beauty and the Beast. It was really good. I didn't realise that I booked tickets for press night apparently. So we got in and there were actually like free souvenir brochures. <laughs> Hit myself in the face. Free souvenir brochures on like every chair, which was fun. And it was a really good show. I've seen it before, but like years ago. And this is like a whole new production. It was different. Um a lot like it felt like more grown up like the one I saw before kind of felt like what you would see at Disneyland with like the costumes it was like the really big Disney style ones whereas this was a little bit more like theatrical and I really liked it it was very good performance the um actors playing that one the beast were really good so yeah that's what we've been doing today I have listened to a lot of the audiobook of Blood of Dragons I was going to try and finish it today but I'm probably not going to be able to get that done because I am too tired to read any more of it before I go to sleep but Lisa has said that if you read it before Sunday when the thing closes and it still can still count for the readathon. So as long as I've done it by Sunday, it'll probably be done tomorrow morning because I normally wake up early and we'll just sit and listen to the audiobook. I only have about an hour left. So I'm going to go to sleep and I will catch you up tomorrow when I'm going to the Ed Sheeran concert. Bye. <laughs>
I'm back home in case you can't tell I'm sat back in front of my bookcase. I am about to film a load of videos to go up for next weekend when I'm away. Well, to get me ahead actually for next weekend and the weekend after. But yes, it is Sunday now. I got home last night about 10 o'clock, so not as late as when I got back last week, which was good. Um, recap on the weekend, because I think I did like one clip on Friday night maybe. Thursday night, Thursday night, I keep forgetting what it is. I actually travelled for because I went on a like Thursday while Saturday which seems weird because normally I'd go Friday while Sunday. Anyway, rambling as per usual. I went on Thursday, went to see Beauty and the Beast as I said before, I think it was press night which we weren't expecting so there were like free programs and things on the chairs and it's quite good because obviously that's the night that other reviews and things are based on so people are like real, so the cast are like really going for it because they want this to be like the best performance. I mean not that they're not always going for it anyway but it just felt really, but it just felt really cool to be able to see that and then see all the reviews the day after and be like yes I know what they're talking about because I was literally there on that night. So that was fun, Beauty and the Beast was really good. It was I don't know if I said this in the clip before but it was less like the last time I saw it when it felt like a Disneyland production in a way like it was all the big costumes and things like that and it was more like a theatrical based thing with like a big tap dancing number for Be Our Guest and it just it felt like slightly more grown up in a way and I really really enjoyed it. The Beast Giving Bella Library is always going to be very dear to my heart so I really enjoyed the show in general and that was a good day. Then on Friday we ended up we went to, actually, yes, this is a thing she will have seen, but I won't have spoke about it yet. On Friday, we went to Waterstones Piccadilly and we went to Charlie's bedroom from the Heartstopper. They had that set up for a week at Waterstones Piccadilly, so we called in there. Surprised, actually, there was barely anyone around it. I thought it'd be busier. So happy I got to go and see that. I will have inserted a clip of it. I didn't end up buying the books for Waterstones, partly because you're out next weekend and partly because we were going to a concert where you weren't able to take bags in with you. So we, and, and we didn't want to go back to the hotel before going to the concert. So we just had a slow day walking around. We went to the theatre cafe because that's where we always go. And then we headed off to Wembley and we went to see Ed Sheeran. And those tickets were a lot better than I expected them to be. Like I knew I was on level one, whereas when I've been to Wembley before, I've been like up higher up. But I wasn't expecting, like, level one is quite, it's not particularly steep. So although we were 15 rows back, it felt really, really close to what would be the pitch if it was a football match. And um, Ed Sheeran plays in the round as well, so his stage is right in the middle. So it was a really good view and it was a good concert. I've seen Ed Sheeran twice now. I do think I preferred him last time just because that was for an album that I really loved. And this one, I didn't, don't dislike it, but it's not as good in my opinion. Last time I saw him was for the Divide album, so the one before this one. But yeah, it was really good. He does put on a good show. So happy that I went to that. And then yesterday, well, when we first got into the centre of London, we went through Pride because Pride in London was yesterday. So there was a Pride march that went from Hyde Park Corner, I think it started, and then worked it, and then worked its way down to Whitechapel, which means it went straight through Piccadilly Circus, which is pretty much where our theatre was. We were going to the Piccadilly Theatre. And yeah, it was uh, fun trying to navigate getting to the theatre during that because obviously all the roads are blocked off. But it was really good just to be there and sort of be in the atmosphere. We, we didn't see too much of the march or the parade part of it because we did need to get to the theatre. But but it was just, like I said, a nice atmosphere to be in. Apart from the odd, every so often as you walk around, the odd groups of, of like protesters, if you want to call them that. It was basically just people shouting things from the Bible at people and telling them that they were living in sin, which was not needed at all and I'm sure many of you have actually probably seen the clip of the Heartstopper cast dancing in front of some of these protesters and flipping them off and yeah that was the uh, energy that was needed for those people definitely because like you're walking into we were walking into the tube at Oxford Circus to get back to the train station afterwards and there's literally this woman just stood at the top of the stairs shouting at people and telling them the living in sin I'm like why why are you here why can't you just let people be happy but anyway, then we went to see Moulin Rouge, which we were originally supposed to see in January. I have seen it by myself. I was originally supposed to be going with my mum. Well, actually, originally supposed to be going to see it back in 2020 for my 30th birthday. We were supposed to be going to Broadway. And I am still very deeply disappointed that I didn't go to see it on Broadway because I love the Broadway cast, the original Broadway cast, so much. And now I will never get to see them because they've all left, because all the original cast have left now. But... And I do, and and having seen this one and having seen it now twice in London, I do really really love the show. But 
I'm not a huge fan of the cast that's on the West End at the minute. Parts of it I love. I love the actor who is playing Carl Sidler at the minute. I think he's really good. I really love Jason Pennycook as Toulouse Lautrec and there are other people throughout it that I really love. I don't love the Christian and the Satine which is a bit disappointing because they are the main characters and yeah I listened to the Broadway cast recording on the way home and I was like oh, okay this this is what it should have sounded like but I did still enjoy it. It's a very good show. It's, very, it's a very fun show to watch at times. It's also very very sad. One of the things I don't like about it Slight, the slight spoilers potentially although not really this is what I actually don't like about it is that if you've seen Mulder Rouge the film you know from the very very beginning that it is a tragedy because the main character Ewan McGregor's character Christian tells you at the beginning what the end is and I won't say what the line is just in case you don't want it spoiled but he tells you at the very very beginning what the end of the story is and they don't do that in the stage show. So the first act feels like a lot happier than it should be really and it's and then the tonal shift in the second act when you suddenly realise what's actually happening because also like the hints of what is actually going to happen aren't as strong at the beginning as they are in the film. Throughout the film you you know what it's leading up to and it's fine and you know, throughout the film you really do know what it's leading up to and you don't get as much of that in the stage show and it just feels like act one and act two are very different from each other and I would have preferred it to have that sort of act two energy all the way through it because it is it can be fun in places but also it's it's a tragedy it's not a happy show like it's not again if you've seen the film you know what I'm talking about just but anyway I'm gonna stop rambling because I actually really need to go and film some videos so that's what I'm doing today I have read I should also give you a reading update this is supposed to be a reading vlog but it's just ended up being a Chloe went to London and went to the theatre again vlog enjoy um but no I finished reading Blood of Dragons what it's called the last, yeah, Blood of Dragon, the last one in the Rainwell Chronicles. So I'm now up to the last Fitz trilogy in the Rain, in the, so I'm now up to the last Fitz trilogy in the Realm of the Elderlings and I don't think I'm prepared for it, but I'm very glad that I've caught, but I'm very glad that I've sort of got to that point because I really wanted to read two of the Rainwell books this month and I have done now. And I listened to the audiobook, it's still not my favourite series in the Realm of the Elderlings at all. It's... I liked the ending in a way but then it was also very very rushed. I feel like it's an important setup for like where the world is going to be at for the last Fitz trilogy but I just I didn't care about the characters and at the very very end of it well actually throughout it you've had more and more of the live ship traders characters coming into it and I liked those parts of it because you got like a couple of them came into it earlier on and then another character from it came into it like in the last book and then he's had a bigger part in this book and then at the very very end of it you had like a cameo from two of the characters that I absolutely adore from the live ships and I'm just like why couldn't we have just had like another series about those characters and then like just showing you a little bit of the other people as opposed to it being like about this other group and then just a little bit of them because like Faimara the main character essentially because it is really her story I just can't get I just don't care like I, I honestly didn't really care what was going off with her whereas when the live ship people weren't there I'm like yes I like you anyway I finished it now we're ready to move back to Fitz we all know that I love Fitz although there is another perspective I believe in this last Fitz trilogy I'm not sure who it is I have a feeling of who it might be but then also probably not because I don't think that character would do particularly well having something from their perspective there is another theory I have. I have two theories basically on who it could be. There's two directions it could go in. But we will see because everything I've seen of it just says that there is another perspective. No one's ever said who it is. So we will see how it goes. I'm hopefully going to be starting that next month. It's not on my official TBR. But I probably will be reading it. Right, I'm going to go because I need to film my wrap up. I need to film my haul. And then I need to film the mid-year book freak out tag because we are now actually in the second half of the year. All these people putting it up in June. You're a little bit early. Six months into the year is the end of June. So I'm going to film it now that I have actually got half a year of reading behind me. Right, I'll probably catch you guys up later. I am planning on, I haven't read anything in July yet because I'm counting Blood of Dragons as June because I finished the vast majority of it in June and then I've just finished the audiobook this morning. So I need to start with some July reads because my TBR is scary this month. Right, I'm actually going to go. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Oh god, that filming took a lot longer than I thought it would. 
Hi, it is still Sunday. I am still sat here in front of my bookshelves. It's been about three hours since I last spoke to you. I had three videos to film. I was like confident I would do that in an hour and a half. I am now sat in a room that is filled with books that I need to tidy and I need to start getting my books ready for Yalk next week because <laughs> why did I think it was a good idea to do like three weekends back to back? I mean, I didn't plan it in all fairness. I don't think I've actually, I don't know if I've actually said this. I may have done it in a previous video, but basically I went away last week weekend to a concert that had been rescheduled since 2020 it was supposed to happen in 2020 then 2021 and now obviously eventually happened in 2022 and then while I was down there I made a weekend of it and went to see shows which I didn't really need to do but it's me this weekend was the Moulin Rouge side of it anyway it was originally supposed to happen in January and then Ed Sheeran concert was planned for this weekend but then the other parts of it but then the Beauty and the Beast we just decided again to make a longer weekend of it because why not and then next weekend is obviously Yalk which normally happens at the end of July but then because it's been rescheduled so many times it's happening at the beginning of July and I just didn't think through with that all these weekends were going to coincide when I booked them all and now I'm a little bit stressed because I needed to pre-film these videos so that I still have something lined up for you guys while I'm not here. Luckily now though I am set up until the weekend after Yalk so should be okay I just need to do one more video for July and then I'm done but I'm gonna do that the weekend after Yelk but yeah I've got like but yeah it's just been like hectic because like I'm just unpacking from yesterday and I've got to start packing again for Thursday because I'm off tomorrow from work but then I am back at work Tuesday Wednesday and then I go first thing Thursday morning so like brain just wants to explode right now but important thing I've done my wrap-up I've done my haul I need to edit at least one of them before tomorrow I need to edit my wrap-up before tomorrow and then I need to get my haul edited before next Saturday and then I need to get this video edited before Wednesday they're the only ones that need to be done like done done before I go to Yelp so one of them done today and then hopefully like what, two of them done tomorrow because this vlog is going to finish at the end of today I'm just like using you guys to talk through my planning yes again anyway I'm actually gonna tidy up because yeah there are literally like let me just take you off of the tripod and just show you these stacks of books that are behind the camera so yeah that's what I'm gonna go and do I'm gonna go tidy and then I'm finally gonna actually like go downstairs and see my dog because I have been abandoning the family today to sit upstairs and film I'll chat to you guys in a bit hopefully I'll have read something we'll we'll see it's a possibility but we never know if it'll actually happen hello quick little clip to say that it's now monday and i forgot to end this vlog yesterday because of course i did i was gonna read last night and i just didn't because i was tired so no reading has really been done yet in july so far so this vlog was basically just the end of marvel -a -thon. but i had my best reading month so far today for marvel -a -thon, so i'm feeling pretty good about that even though I slowed down a little bit at the beginning of July. I don't think I really have much else to say, to be honest. I spoke to you guys yesterday. I just wanted to make sure I had something to end this vlog. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff down below. Let me know how your Marvel fun went. And I will see you guys next time with a new video. Bye.